I'm an ultrasound tech. I've worked really hard to be where I'm at. I absolutely love my job. Um, I'm currently six months pregnant, due October 5th. Um, I just bought a house. I'm the main income source of my family, and I don't want to lose my job, um, but I'm not going to take this vaccine. So uh, that's kind of where I'm at. I'm really stressed out about this. <laughs> I've been a nurse in women's and children's services for almost five years. It took me probably eight years to get my nursing degree through a formerly abusive relationship. So this, this job in nursing means a lot to me. I've spent the last five years advocating for my patients and their families for the right to make decisions um, that are right for them to have autonomy over their bodies. And now that same choice is being taken away from me. It's not just us. I mean, we've got babies that we're looking out for, too. Um, and I am also a registered nurse. Um, I have been for two years now in the Women's Services NICU. Um, I am nine months pregnant, due August 1st. Mm -hmm. um, so by the time I come back, I will have to um, be vaccinated by September 1st, or I will also lose my job. I'm also the primary caregiver in our family, um, so we would lose our house that we just bought last August. Um, and it's just very sad to see everything going downhill when we advocate for our patients, trying to advocate for ourselves, trying to advocate for the community here in Idaho, in our areas that we grew up. Um, I'm an Idahoan, grew up in Marie in Idaho. It amazes me what this town has now been like, um, coming back and going to college, coming back and seeing the changes. Um, so if you could please help us keep our jobs um, so that way we can protect you and keep serving you um, as members of our community, that would be awesome.